During years such as 2016, many crop growers are likely reevaluating the inputs they use during the season. For corn producers trying to push yields, one of those areas could be the use of micronutrients. Zach Stewart finished his Ph.D. here at UNL this spring and now works at Kansas State University. His extensive work with foliar applications of micronutrients helps answer that question about increasing yields. We talked with Zach in Lincoln around planting time to learn more about his findings. The previous recommendation was a little, um, it was a little older, and uh, so we wanted to relook at it, um, reevaluate it, and a lot of interest in the last uh, 10 years, last really three years, um, as grain prices went up, it was what can we do that last piece keep uh, improving yields, um, and as we have higher and higher yields, uh, the new theory was. We have more micronutrient demand by these higher yielding crops um, and uh, more uptake. And so even though in Nebraska there's not necessarily a lot of deficiency, um, with these higher yielding crops, uh, maybe this is the time to, to reevaluate if there's an effect uh, with foliar micronutrients. You touched on this, but are, what are the deficiencies? Where would they exist in Nebraska? Yeah. So. We did a, a survey all across the state, and um, really we looked at boron, manganese, zinc, iron. Those were kind of the, the four that we focused on, and we just didn't see a lot of deficiencies both in the soil and plant tissue. They are out there, um, but when we did see them, uh, it was usually caused by high pH in the west. Um, you have higher pH soils, uh, that's really going to be what's inducing your, your iron deficiency. So it's not necessarily your soil doesn't have it. It's usually caused by something else, um, organic matter, uh, low soil water, um, pH is really one of the biggest ones, but that's usually what's causing the plant to say, I don't have enough of this micronutrient, not because it's not there in the first place. What was your process to try and find if foliar applications would be beneficial? So we, we kind of had two, two um, uh, theories going. One, to test our current farmer agronomist practices uh, where we see a deficiency, we've gone out, confirmed there's a, a micronutrient deficiency, and then apply in that scenario. And then the other was, you know, we're, we're close uh, by plant, and t plant tissue uh, analysis saying we've got a, a level right on the edge. Um, let's, let's apply in these scenarios, high yield, productive situation, not necessarily visual signs of deficiency, and then we've got a visual sign of deficiency. And we did uh, strip trials all across the state. We also did small plot trials where we put it right on a, a known location and tested it. And uh, the consistent result was uh, in areas um, where there's not a visual sign of deficiency, high yield, high nutrient demand, we weren't seeing good consistent response. And, uh, but in cases where we saw really confirmed deficiency, uh, we put it right on that, uh, that area, uh, we could see a, a, a decent response. And, and that was rare and infrequent, but uh, when targeted to a deficiency, you could see a response. So what's the recommendation for the farmer then as they think about tight margins in a year like this? So in the case in, in Imperial, Nebraska, high pH, we saw some strong visual uh, deficiency. Um, we saw a 30 bushel you know, yield increase. Um, so even on a tight year like that, you can start to justify it. Um, however, that was a really rare circumstance, um, really high yield uh, with a strong visual sign of deficiency. So I would say uh, more applicable to most Nebraska farmers, it, it's likely one of the things um, to stay off the packet to put in on your nutrient package. You also notice that there might not be a yield response, but there also could be a plant response. Is that accurate? Sure, sure. We did some greenhouse trials and had, had um, plants that we induced to iron deficiency, um, put uh, foliar iron on and saw some regreening, um, but that didn't convert into a, a yield increase. So that, that's also, you know, the, some of the turf guys out there, that, that's really what they're after. But, uh, you know, I'm a, you know, a farmer. Yeah. I, the regraining isn't what converts into profit for me. You can read more about Zach's analysis of micronutrient foliar applications through a link on the Market Journal website.